Any replacement for Lurker and Fireheart if you want to play a budget version of the deck? Um, what are some cards that I, I have had in and out? I mean, you got, you could play Penflinger. Penflinger was, you know, a card that I had in previous versions of this deck, which, you know, is actually shockingly pretty good. All right, evil totem it is. What do you think of tour guide? I just don't think tour guide's that good if you don't have expensive battle cries that you're looking to get get uh, activated by it, essentially. Vivid spores is likely good against like a brawl. Kind of awkwardly forces my opponent to try and keep using removal. Kind of like coin weapon or whatever. But we just want to like make your opponent use removal now or possibly give us extra value from this. Okay, I mean, I could just Vivid Spores this, which isn't isn't awful, but kind of inefficient. I'd rather save it, I think. It does turn on Marsh Spawn. I think I want to advance my quest more, though. I'll play Serpent Shrine. And I'm just going to play this to get another damage in. If my opponent's weaponing it, I want him to take damage back by attacking into it, too. So that's why I'm hitting this. Um, I've seen more Bomb Warrior than any other type of Warrior right in, like recently, so I'm expecting to get Wrench Calibered. Oh, Cargath. Okay. That's fine. Well, we're at three. So this is actually... that The Bomb Warrior decks don't necessarily play this. So it might be Big Warrior. Oh, I'm going to buff this so it can't be killed by a, uh, a weapon. Like my opponent can't uh, Reaper this. It also makes the thing to the far right the possible Reaper hit. Obviously you can get Brawled or whatever. Yep. Well, what's Wand Maker? What's Marsh Spawn? So my opponent can coin out Commencement next turn. I'll, if it is that deck, I'll take the Plague of Murlocs. It's obviously good against Big Warrior. Hey, Zare with the gift sub paid for from Mamba to Evil Mocha Chips. If I want coin Commencements and doesn't hit Troublemaker or Rush Guy. Okay. I unfortunately don't have any value stuff in my hand right now for my hero power. Well, I do have that. Huh. Well, we're close to the 20 damage burst. I think I just play this and Vivid Spores. The opponent's at 24. Like, we have Cumulo, Lightning Bloom available. Next turn, we can, like, if I just Commencements, Devolving Missiles, go face. I mean, it's also possible that this is not actually a Commencement big deck, but it looks like it from what we've seen. We haven't seen, like, any small minions. We haven't seen any Wrench Calibers. We have seen two Corsair Caches, which does suggest not necessarily big, because they don't typically play that many weapons, but... Fargoth. Shield block, that's annoying. Yeah. Um, hmm. You know what? That's fine. I can devolving missiles, double weaponized wasp face. I think I'd rather go face and then do that now. We have Plague of Murlocs, then we just have the damage. My opponent can give. Like, this ends up being, you know, putting my opponent, having used both shield blocks at 20, which is the Cumulo uh, Lightning Bloom burst range. I don't want to wasp the guy. I want to just hit that guy. Yeah, my opponent's armor can now target minions. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. So my opponent just played, like, Troublemaker. If my opponent doesn't, like, play, like, Cargath Prime, uh, I think he's just going to be dead. Like, Cargath Prime feels like the only thing that really matters. Obviously, I'm just short here, so my opponent could, but, like, could possibly, like, 
get a big board, but both shield blocks being gone. Uh-huh. So here's a shortened board still. Shield slam for zero. Okay. What are you casting now? Are you blade storming here? Or something? Bulwark. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. So now we just need to hit him with anything to get rid of the bulwark. Just don't get Kargath Primes off of this. Those aren't Kargath Primes. Okay. Can't possibly kill my board, so we win. Have you ever been struck by lightning? Yeah. A lot, turns out. A lot. <laughs> Maybe I should change this to Pew Pew Quest. Lightning Quest? Thor Quest? Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> you know what happens if a warrior gets struck by lightning? Oh, God. Please don't reference the worst line ever in like an X-Men movie. The same thing as anything else. Like, wow, that's, that's insightful. We can't keep evil toteming as Paladin. I do think I want to keep Lurker. Mm, no, I'm just gonna fall Mulligan. Lurker's too slow, it doesn't do enough. We're just gonna Mulligan. We're looking for, um, uh, more than anything we want Questing Explorer just as, an, as like early board presence that gives us value. Wand Maker um, possibly hitting Devolving is super good or Earthshock, so one makers are pretty nice. Yeah, it, it, the, exactly, if the line were it croaks, it would be a good line, right? But literally the line is the same thing as everything else. It's like, that's that's just such a terrible line. What a, what an awful, awful line. It was Storm in the, in the original X-Men movie, right? When she zaps Toad. There's a Devolving Missiles. That's an excellent hit, as I was mentioning. Yeah, you know what happens to scripts when the writers can't think of a good line? This. That is probably a better choice for you than double attacking to my guy. I can Sandstorm. If I Sandstorm, do I coin Cable Rat? I think I do. Then next turn is Marsh Spawn, most likely, yeah. Because the coin enables the marsh spawn next turn, which is valuable. And now we also just have a, a you know, a wide board. Do you know any good stretches for your quads? I mean, just pulling your quad up. I don't know. I just, I usually just like, you know, stand on one leg, pull that leg up. That's using my, my quad stretch. All right. Um, we will marsh spawn as intended. I'll just take Serpent Shrine, I think. Next turn can theoretically be Witchy Sludge Slurper Serpent Shrine to help clear off my opponent's board. We kill both things. We don't want to give our, allow our opponent to have a board to play buffs, if possible. We can also just like sit, whoa, a 3-4, okay. Well. Ooh, there's questing. Um, I guess we're not gonna play those. We're gonna play this plus questing. Let's see what we get off this. It means we do not complete our quest this turn, which is fine. We're not, like, in a race for it. We got a Rager, boys. What happened to the Penflingers? I ended up cutting them for the Wasps. I felt like Penflinger left me, like, a little in, like, a little bit of an awkward spot in a lot of, uh, a lot of games I was playing. It's just, like, kind of clunky. Ooh. I guess I just play this to complete. And then we can hero power Sludge Slurper. Trade this in here. We could also attack and witchy lackey this rather than the Sludge Slurper. Like this is definitely happening. 
This is definitely happening. This is definitely happening. The question is what the next thing I do is. And it's either Witchy Lackey on the Magma Rager. I think it might be Witchy Lackey on Magma Rager. So he can't like die at like a Consecration. And I want to have a 3-3. Three, three. Great. <laughs> How is Sandstorm Elements performing? Sandstorm Elements was fantastic in this deck. Hey, we did have Consecration. We kept it alive. So it went as planned. I'm just gonna Lurker your guy. Basically, very expensive Legendary Fire Elemental. I mean, and now we just have, we have Cumulo, so we have 10 damage from hand with this, with Bloom or Slurper to turn it on. Sure. So you're dead. Unless you somehow get a taunt off of this. Even then, it has to be a, a big one. Oh my god. Uh... This guy got struck by lightning too. And I'm not going to say a dumb storm quote when I do it. Boom! A boom. <clears throat> Evil, draws close. Evil draws close. I kind of want to just play the 2 3. If I play the 2 3, it can just die to a. Twin Slice. They played Cult Neophyte. That also just added Twin Slice for two mana. This is better against the board. Not exactly a matchup where I'm focused on the card draw value of this. We need to stabilize against someone who's, you know, just playing a 2 2 in turn one against us. Mm hmm. Okay, so we're going to Sandstorm and eat that guy so we don't take a million from it. Clears that guy too, which is great. My river cross glyph coming in handy. She's got you, friend. Oh yeah. Right back at ya. I suspect we're just gonna get like either glided or uh, more likely voracious reader soon. Although my opponent's hand is still three cards. Hmm, okay. I haven't actually done a uh, enabler for that yet. I'm just gonna neophyte neophyte, try and get better value out of Instructor. Although, if we play Instructor now, we can Neophyte into my opponent's possible Skull turn. Which, like, kind of makes sense, considering how this has lined up. Skull makes sense, Voracious Reader makes sense for cards in my opponent's hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Instructor. Cool. Bolt that. I'll take Molten Blast. That was really good. Okay. Well, we do have Molten Blast into Neophyte, into this, the, the uh, six mana possible Skull Turn. Model their magic. Okay, well that wasn't a Skull. Is that a Skull though? That's got to be Skull. What would you not play on five mana there? So, wh okay, what I'm going to do, we're going to Cable Rat. We're going to Hero Power. We're going to Skull, or we're going to Neophyte twice to b continue blocking the Skull. And then we're going to Witchy Lackey this guy. Okay, well, the new card's a Voracious Reader. 
Don't pick that old card skull. Oh yes, okay. Bloop. Great. We need more lackeys, given that. Kane's already gone. We have a 3 7. Is this skull, this card over here? Are we gonna see it? Yes! Oh! <laughs> it's so satisfying when you get paid off like that. <laughs> like it's not actually, I'm not actually happy that I put it plain skull necessarily because it's a really powerful card. <laughs> but I'm just so happy that like the the play that I was I was planning worked out exactly how I wanted it to. Oh, that's like one of the worst draws in my deck. Okay, well we have um, 10 damage from hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 17. My opponent played two of the reduced cards, so probably doesn't have Altruus. This makes it better if an opponent does find an Altruist, though. Might as well just clear with these. We still have the big taunt and these, which give us lethal on board, plus we're generating another lackey. Does this deck want Bloodlust? Absolutely not. You want to discover Bloodlust. You don't want to have cards sit in your hand that like are situational when you can just create them with your discover effects. It's so many matchups, you're just going to have Bloodlust rotting your hand being useless. Were you impatient to play your Skull of Gul'dan that I bricked with Neophyte? Ugh. Ooh, that was mwah, chef's kiss of a game. Cult Neophyte, awesome even against Aggro Demon Hunter. Ah.